Um, I'm Victoria Vicelli, IBCLC over here at Emerald Doulas, and I'm here with my friend Cameron today to teach about priest bottle feeding. I'm going to be speaking really clearly about what it is that I'm doing for any visually impaired people who are tuning, tuning in today. Um, so when we talk about paste bottle feeding, paste bottle feeding is important for all babies because it helps them eat a little bit more slowly and develop all their oral facial muscles. So instead of giving a bottle to a baby who's laying flat in your lap in the crook of your arm, which is kind of how we see it in the movies, we're actually going to take that whole system and turn it up so that Cameron is sitting up in my lap and I'm using my hand to support his back and neck so that he is well supported and sitting up. You'll also notice that I've got pillows around me so that I'm really comfortable. We want a paste bottle to take about 10 or 15 minutes. So I need to be nice and comfortable so that I'm patient with him and waiting here. So the other reason why we do this is for people who are choosing to breastfeed that then babies can go a little bit more easily from the breast to the bottle because the flow is a little bit more similar. So what I'm going to do is I've got Cameron sitting up in my lap, and I'm going to tickle his lip just like we do with breastfeeding to get a nice big mouth. A nice big mouth, and let's see, Cammy, can I have a big mouth? So now I'm holding the bottle perpendicular to his body so that the milk is filling just the tip of the nipple, but not necessarily the whole base of the nipple. This way, he is actually doing the work to draw milk towards his mouth instead of gravity doing the work for him. This is a slow flow nipple and a slow flow bottle, which I do recommend, but it's more about how we give the bottle than the bottle that we're actually using. Oh, you're doing such a good job sucking, Cameron. So now I'm actually playing a little bit of tug of war with him. I'm actually pulling back just a little bit. See, I'm holding the bottle like a pencil. I recommend a bottle that's comfortable for you more than a bottle that looks, smells, was marketed as a breast. Um, what is better is to look for a slow flow nipple and one that fits your hand pretty comfortably. So now I'm tugging back just a little bit so that he has to work to draw the milk out of the bottle and into his mouth as opposed to tipping him back and letting gravity do all of the work. Then I'm going to sit him forward for a second and let him just suck on the, on the edge of the bottle without any actual milk in the nipple of the bottle. This way he takes little breaks so I can get between letdowns and slows him down. I don't know about you, but I don't do my best eating when I eat really, really fast. And babies don't either. So we want this bottle to take a little bit longer so it's their stomach a little more slowly. They eat a more reasonable amount and they don't get quite as much upset tummy. So now I've tipped him back just a little bit to let him have a little bit more of this bottle. And I've put more milk in the tip of the nipple. And I'm playing a little bit of tug of war with him. I think that is enough for now. Thank you so much for tuning in.